that's actually where the point is right there. So it's a dream catcher. No, there's actually something here. Okay, what is this? Only come out at night. You can call us Team Sleep. What is that? Oh my god. Okay, so there's some sort of mask. Egyptian here. Obviously, I can't read Egyptian, but maybe some of you can. Carphagus. Which means... Yeah. Okay. It's a pharaoh for sure. Yeah, so we just found that. I just don't want to stay in here anymore, Brayden. This is getting... <laughs> oh my god! Brayden! Brayden, go, go, go! Welcome back guys to this exciting new adventure of Rananautica. I'm here with Exploring up, with Angelo. You guys have been asking me numerous times. You guys need to do more adventures together. You need to explore together constantly. So we are back at it again. Um, like I said guys, I just got my passport. So I can't, I like... I can't do the U.S. yet, but we're gearing up to do things like that. So when he's off in the U.S., that is the reason why I wasn't able to do things like that because I never had one before. So I actually, I'm a new passport owner. <laughs> I just got it. I've never traveled. I've new never passport. been out of Canada. I've never, I've never left the country. But anyways, today we've set two points. He set one of his own, which is actually straight ahead far down there hopefully my autofocus is behaving today because it's been a little wonky lately and mine is actually off on the right hand side now um i've like i said i've been going through the messages and i've used quite a few of your intents last episode which actually should be up tonight well not tonight but like i mean like <laughs> you know what i mean like it should be up it should be up shortly depending on YouTube. Anyways, I've noticed that a lot of you have this similar intent of Wendigo and Skinwalkers and things like that. So we're gonna put Wendigo and Skinwalkers together and just see what we can come up with. I don't know if this is the area they'd hang out with, but who knows, with Randonautica, we just don't know. So anyways, guys, we're gonna get this show on the road. All right. It actually looks like we're in the jungle right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh God. Okay, if you eat more protein. Mhm. Mm yeah, yeah. All I know is it's in this area, so I mean that'll give me at least something to walk on. I'm not like in tick territory. Yeah, right there. Okay, excellent, buddy. Yeah, so it looks like you can go that direction. I will go yeah. down this, and then uh, I guess we'll meet up back here. Yeah, yeah, if you want, what I'll do is I'll just, uh, I'll walk down in this direction, yeah. and just hopefully I find you. And uh, if anything, we'll just uh, call each other if we need some back. Sounds good, buddy. All right, guys, so we're going down the trail. I might be a hoodlum this episode because it's really, really bad. Really, really, really buggy as you guys can see. These woods look really ominous. I, I can't say that I've been here before. I don't really know. So there's like a fence line here, but I know that it's off in this direction, so I don't want to... So mine's actually off 
Oh, thank God there's a trail. Okay, so mine's off in this direction here. You can just hear nature, like it's just, it's beautiful, but at the same time, I'm always wondering what could be out here. <clears throat> I got little steps here. It sounds like there's water down there. Looks like this used to be a stream here. And then it washed up. What is that? That's not the point, but let's see what that is. Oh, it's just a bottle. It's just a piece of the bottle. Yo. That's actually where the point is right there. What the hell? What is this? <clears throat> okay. So it's you a dream arrived. catcher. What's really, really eerie is, I don't know if you guys have played Until Dawn before with Wendigo. But there were a lot of dream catchers and stuff like in the intro and things like that. What the hell is that? Yo, there's actually something here. Okay, what is this? Oh my god, I found another note, guys. So this says... We only come out at night. You can call us Team Sleep. Uh, that's a little weird. Yeah, you can see like the ink is coming out of it. Like this is a bit aged. Obviously not destroyed. Is anyone out there? Hello? <clears throat> if you're out there, show yourselves. Yeah, that's just, that's eerie. I think it's cool that it's a heart though. That's kind of neat. It's interesting. Thinking that I'm hearing this. Hey! You out there? I almost want to get my knife out. I thought I heard footsteps in this direction. Like somebody had just been here. Okay, what's up here? I don't even know if I came. This. Okay, so it's just a tree. I can hear dogs barking. Okay, so we're going across. It's funny because we were uh, we were coming through here. We saw a lot of swamps and things like that. Whoa, what is this? <clears throat> okay, that's eerie. It's like a little fort. Okay. I don't want to go too far. I don't want to get lost. Because we already found my point, and I already know that Angelo's expecting me to come meet up with him. 
So I'm gonna go back. Somebody's texting me. <clears throat> it's like I'm just lured to going down here though. I mean, I've never been on a trail like this before. This is so ominous. I'm not seeing anything, guys. Yeah, I don't want to go too far. I'll, what I'll do, I'll just walk up this little ways and see if I see anything. Yeah, there's nothing else. Yeah, there's nothing else here. It's like a valley down there. Wow. Yeah, so there's nothing else here. I think we're going to head back, find Angelo. Let's be safe about this because we, we need to go in pairs. We really need to be together doing random nodding. Um, it's very smart, especially from what happened in last video, so. <clears throat> I think my wife's been, I think Betty's been texting me. I'll have to check those when we get out of here. It's almost like I think I'm gonna run into some Blair Witch shit down here, and that's why I was kind of uh, getting to be a little bit more explore happy. It's all wide open here. Yeah, like look at that, guys. It's actually beautiful. Really wide open. Let me know if you guys see anything in the comment section below, because I mean the intent was when to go, so. I know a few new people, new, uh, not new people, but a few people that uh, put some intense on last video I'm going to check out right after this. Okay. Alright. I think we're almost back. I hope I didn't go too far. I know I was supposed to turn off at one point. Hello? Anyone out there? I think I might have went too far. This all looks new to me. Because I know the trail split off. Oh, fudge. Oh, hold on. Okay. Okay, we're back. I'm just on a different part of it. All right, we made it back. Wow, that was weird. So I'm on a totally different part of the trail right now. But I, I know that the portion that we were at, it's not far. I don't think it's far. Yeah, yeah, okay. I know where I'm going now. He's down on this side. Very easy to get a lost in a place like this. <clears throat> map right here. Okay, okay. Yeah, so he's he's down here. Because I remember seeing this rock coming in, so he's gone down this way. <clears throat> Sorry my voice being groggy. I actually have a mild hey look 
Well, that's kind of cool. Hey, buddy. What's going on? Just out for the summer. See, these guys eat the mosquitoes. They're our friends. <coughs> oh, my God. I think they just swallowed one. <coughs> oh, my God. Mosquitoes everywhere. All right, so we got to find these guys. I told them I wouldn't be in any more than... 10 minutes, if I didn't find anything, I should come right back. He's down here. Fortunately, I wore jeans. <laughs> I'm a jean guy. He wore shorts, so he's probably being eaten alive right now. I got another map there. That's actually really cool. Okay. I know these guys are down here somewhere. All right, so we're going down the trail to look for Angelo. Hopefully this goes to the same place. It's a little bit mucky over here. Holy mackerel, look at that. All right, I guess we're gonna have to play the bones to get out of here. That's what they always say on uh, Goonies there. Here we go. I'll give it a little bit more light just in case. What the hell is that? What is this? It looks like Egyptian or something. I don't know if he came across this, if this was his point. But this is really, really weird. What the hell is this? Yeah, it's like some sort of... I don't know what this is. Some stones. One says that race of Irish giants carried the stones from Africa. Is there anything in the back of it? The meaning of the meaning of the megaliths. Okay, I don't want to go into reading this, but you just stumbled across this. I I I mean, imagine that Angelo has already. This was his point. The Vision of Eden, 1926, an elderly Anglo-American. So this is just like a lot of history stuff right here. Inside of the first fairest pyramid. And then there's an image down here. I imagine that this was his point. All these items here. But anyways, let's just keep going up the forest. I need to find these guys. Otherwise, I'm going to be lost in the woods. Hey, Angelo? Hello? Kind of freaked me out. I thought I heard footsteps. Angelo? You out here? Okay. So we'll keep going forward. I imagine he's got to be around here somewhere. Angelo? <laughs> Once again, I'm really, really nervous. This forest is 
probably just as scary or if not more than the last one. Angelo, you out here? He's got to be here. I know I'm late because I said I was only going to be 10 minutes looking for mine. So I hope that he's not too far gone down the trail. What the hell? Okay, there's more stuff here. I imagine maybe that was one of his other points. Brad? Yeah, yeah? Someone's out here. Okay, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? Go, 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 go. Okay. We should hide, dude. Okay. What'd you see? What'd you see? Dude, there's some mother out there with a knife. Okay. Literally all in black. What do you want to do? I don't know. I dropped my phone back there, too. Shit. Well, I know you want to go back for that. Should we hide somewhere and see if he if he goes if he goes past us? Okay. Yeah, I think I found uh, your point, and I wasn't sure if it, if you were gonna take stuff with you or not. I thought somebody was ready to set a trap or something. I stopped and I looked both ways. I heard some footsteps, footsteps on the. Uh, the le yeah, just on this side right here, I heard footsteps, and it freaked me out. I just said, I, I gotta find him. I gotta find him. Came out of nowhere. Dude, he was holding big ass knife. What, did he swing at you? Like, did he? No, he was coming towards me. Yeah. And I stopped, because I realized I dropped my phone. Mm -hmm. So I started going back, but he kept on coming, so. Okay, well, we better be careful, because he's probably still out there, bro. Yeah. What's up guys, so we just ran a second point, um, we're heading there now. Um, this intent is missing people and the Starseed cult. And everybody wants us to go after the cult. I keep getting a bunch of messages from you guys saying you want to see some more cult stuff. So here we are, and it's up this way. You're definitely going to have to explain that to me a little bit afterwards. Yeah, it's, it's bizarre. It's, it is really, really bizarre. Just keep her eyes open because I s encountered somebody out here and uh, I know, dude. Look too friendly, that's for sure. So. Mm -hmm. um, okay. I get nervous dealing with like. What was that? I don't know. It sounded like a stick or something. I don't know if it fell from the tree or if it just got grown. Who's out there? I don't know what's scarier, dead silence or... Dead silence? <laughs> I'd say they're both equally uh, scary. Mm -hmm. So my point's actually out this way. Oh, okay. Wait, what? The heck is that thing? That? What is that? That is messed up. What is... <coughs> so do you see the guy down here? No, like he in this like area? all the way back there. We're like way past where... So maybe he's out in this area. No like what the hell is that? So we just found this ride. thing. I don't know what it is. Oh my god. Okay, so there's some sort of mask. Found some sort of note in its mouth. That is creepy as all hell. So what is this? That ain't creepy, I don't know what it is. It says, I am not me anymore. Sorry, mom. Love, Jessica. And then in the back, it doesn't say anything. Yeah, it's weird. I've definitely found things like this before. 
I think Does I it mean anything to you? I have no idea. I think I found almost the exact same one, but smaller. Yeah. I just re I remember the, the little thing. That, that is shoot. scary, eh, bro? Yeah. It's definitely a mask, though. Yeah. Look, yeah, there's the pulleys. So this one must have come undone. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, that's an actual mask. What does that note say? So the note says, I am not me anymore. Sorry, Mom. Love, Jessica. So weird, because I've been finding notes out here from somebody named Emily. So you're finding Jessica. I found Emily. Does this cult you're dealing with abduct people? I don't know, man. It's been... It's a long story. I know. I just don't really assume I'm going to find anything relative to what I've been finding because most of it has been in my area, so... I don't know, man. To me, it seems like anywhere I go, it's uh, something weird. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, well, I'm going to run a new point. I'm hearing an airplane. Yeah? out there. Do you see something? Like I said, it's two against one at this point, right? Yeah. As far as we know, anyway, it's just... The two of us together, we can take them. So that's, that's not a problem. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Look out for them yeah, June bugs. I told you, Lord of the June bugs. I knew it was gonna happen tonight. The mosquitoes died down. Yeah, exactly. Kind of dying out a little bit. Oh, 100%. I might not even have to set another point with the uh, the level of craziness on this forest. We might as well just keep exploring. Look, what, do you, you think you saw legs? It looked like it was more like torso. Okay. Like maybe they were kind of like peeking out from behind a tree or something, so... Yeah, so we'll have to be very careful in case somebody's going to try to jump us. I've got my knife handy, so... Yeah, I'm just going to kind of switch hands in case yeah. I throw a fist at some point. Yep. What is that? I just heard something else. Okay, let's put that thing down. What the hell is this? It's like some Egyptian thing. Yeah. That's I mean, it's neat. Odd. But very, very odd. Yeah. Did you find any picture frames in these woods? Uh, one. Okay. Yeah. It was a little tiny one. It was like, the picture was like that big and a frame about that big. It's like back there somewhere. What if this f dude is like leaving this shit I, behind? I don't know, man. I could not tell you at the moment. Okay, let's see what this is. Alright, so we got... Egyptian here. Obviously, I can't read Egyptian, but maybe some of you can. I don't know if this means anything. It actually looks authentic. I mean, it looks beautiful. Whoever whoever yeah. did it, it's a nice piece of art. It looks like an Egyptian porno to me. <laughs> Just, I mean, oh, yeah, she's like she's touching his arm gracefully, you know. Okay, well, let's see if there's anything on the back. You deal with that, I'll be right back. Okay, bro.
Oh my god. We found another one. Okay, well that that gives me goosebumps. So he's checking out some sounds over there. I'm checking out this. I just need to find some place to prop my camera, guys. I don't know what this is. We keep finding really, really creepy stuff in this forest, though. All right. Okay, so for those of you who are brand new to my um, channel, I have to, I know I have to do this several times, but it's good, to, it's good for newcomers. Um, originally, when I first started Randonautica, we found what looked like cremation ashes on a beach, and I found clothing. And I also found along with the clothing, next to a guy's pocket, there was a micro cassette tape player. There was no tapes in it or anything. I started finding tapes later on during filming other um, randonautica adventures. So anyways, I hopefully I have battery juice because I would like to play this here. I am a little eared out though. This place is, this place actually gives me the creeps. We've had a lot of forests that are, uh, very, very dangerous, especially the ones that are cult related, so. Okay. Okay, so here we go. Just trying to set my camera up here. Alright guys, so we're just gonna get the uh, micro set tape player out and see what this is. So let's put this in for you. All right, so we got the tape out. We'll just check this out. That's all we got out of that. Um, starting to hear some sounds coming back from that way. So we're just gonna follow Angelo and see where he's going. I don't feel safe anymore. Like this is getting really, really scary. Especially since we're finding more things on the cult. And if this dude's out here now, I definitely don't wanna be. So let's get going. Okay. Ugh. Yo, did you hear something? Okay, yeah, I saw you run this way and it got a little well, bit nervous. I heard something while you were listening to whatever you were listening to. Okay. And, uh, yeah, I thought I heard something down that way, which is why I went to go and take a look. That is so weird, bro. Surrounded. Yeah. You ready to maybe start heading back? Yeah, this let's go back. I think this is getting, this is getting a little scary. Yeah. Mm. Your face with you? Bringing that little mask, yeah. It's wild. That's probably one of the most interesting things I've found. Just uh, keep on our toes, just in case. Okay. 
I would like my phone back. That'd be great. I know. And you still haven't found it. No, it should have been back there, but I didn't see it. We'll take a look again and see if uh, on the way back if we happen to locate it. Like, should I call it? Yeah, like, I mean, it's a clear, flat path. As long as you didn't dip out into the woods, it should be here. Oh, yeah. It's uh, beautiful during the day, but... Yeah. This is one massive forest. It would make sense that these cults use these woods because they're so big. They have a lot of area. There was a fire here. Huh? There was a fire here. Oh yeah, you're right. So somebody has been here. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. Wild. I just heard something down here. It did. My only excuse is that these people live off the grid and they don't like trespassers. Wait, who, who are you referring to? Well, just from researching cults. Oh, just like in general? Yeah, just in general. A lot of them don't want, they don't want anybody to know of their identity, their involvements. Yeah, yeah, that would uh, make sense. The scariest one was people um, getting rid of their fingerprints. Actually, like, like there's a their melting their, their fingerprints them? off. <laughs> yeah. If they kill anyone, they're untraceable. Let's uh, continue on. Hoping for no other encounters. <laughs> yeah. It would be nice. You know, for a nice uh, night off. These people give me the creeps. Creepos, yeah. Okay. Problem is we're uh, still pretty far in. Did you see like a flash of light out there? I've seen a lot of things like that. I don't know what it is. Or something? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. close. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Point it up there. What? I did see flashing lights. Like farther? I think I caught that on film too. On no, I mean like I mean it could be what you were saying, like either firefly uh, fireflies or something. But they were like little blips of light out this way. What, that wasn't there before? No. I don't what remember that? seeing it. Dude, it literally says, do you see him yet? Do you, do you see him, him? And then it looks like, like the a symbol him is backwards. Like... I don't know what that is. It looks like some sort of religious thing almost. Mm -hmm. It's like an angel with like kids or something. That's so eerie. Anything else, though? Doesn't look like it. No, it's all just one piece. One of those old school uh, yeah, I frames that. Okay. Let me 
so clearly somebody came back. That's... Yeah. Good. Yeah. It's like a tree branch. Right? He's out there. Somewhere. Pushing his way. There's a lot of ground to cover out here, that's for damn sure. Yeah. I got a spare if we need it. If we need a spotlight. You got one of these lights? Not as not as powerful as oh. yours, no. Oh, uh, a police light. Oh, okay. I'll keep this on. Just gonna have to keep it. Should have winded myself. <laughs> How many lumens is that thing? Seven thousand. <laughs> Holy. Look at this tree. It's like oozing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There's a tree stump that always scares me. Mm. So you kind of just catch it off in the distance. I've always wanted to know why these cults have Christian religious things like angels and things like that. I don't know. Honestly, I feel like they're just copycats at this point. Yeah. Because they're all just very unoriginal. We're okay. Yeah. That creeped me out, man. Uh, where's all the stuff that was here earlier? I swear we should have passed it by now. Yeah, that is odd. Yeah, it's just... Like it was like and... scattered laying. Yeah, like there was tons of stuff before, and now it's just all gone. It really doesn't even make sense. Unless that dude collected it. Maybe. So, uh... Good to go. Okay. I think we're kind of close to the entrance, I hope. I hope so too, dude. I'm getting a little tired of this place, to be honest. Same. The worst part is these things. I actually nearly broke both of my arms stripping on them. Oh, really? Oh, like yeah. Just now? No, no. In a video. Like before? Yeah, in a video. Oh, okay. Yeah, we are getting close. Yeah, I hear dogs or something. Huh? I heard, dogs? Yeah. Where? Up in the distance. Yeah, I heard that too. Do the Viserians have dogs? <laughs> don't know, man. Okay. Oh, that's what I'm hearing. It's a little more, a little less unsettling, I'd say. Yeah. You okay? Oh, yeah. Okay. Just watching my footing. I don't want to trip on anything. Lots of hazards, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. Entrance? Entrance? Can I get an entrance? Yeah, for real. One entrance for $100? What is entrance? Okay. Alright, guys, it looks like... Yes! We found the sign, dude. 
We found the sign. We're back. We're really close. Thank you, Lord, baby Jesus. Yeah. You know, tonight doesn't seem to be that bad. Yeah, because you didn't get chased by a guy with a knife. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Lots of fun. I never know what to expect doing this. Nope. Okay, just one more hurdle and uh, yep. we're good to go, I'd say. Cool. Up and over. Easy peasy. Sorry guys, I have to film like this because I need just I need light for my footing. So it just helps me helps me a good deal. That was a bit too close for comfort if you ask me. Yeah. What the hell? That's him. Okay. That's him. That is him. He's right there. Oh. We're just gonna have to make a break for the car. Okay. In three, two, go. Welcome back, guys, to this next exciting adventure of Randonautica. I am here with. It's -a me, Brayden. My boy, Brayden. And, uh, yeah, we're back in the creepy forest because we got a bringing random text message. This is so creepy, dude. So like this happened like before. Yeah. Before like, we even decided to come up here. And the, it's so weird because the number is like asterisk, a, it's like bracket, asterisk, 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 bracket. Oh, asterisk, dude. asterisk, 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 asterisk. Oh, it's a it's just a twister. bunch it's of things. Just, yeah, yeah, so that's that's the send number, guys. That's literally what Brayden got and play it for us. This text, actually gave me creeps. They texted me this an hour ago. And, I had and it's to, WhatsApp, so it, you know it's encrypted. Yeah, and I had to get Brad, because, like, this could be anything. Mm hmm But it sounds very similar to what we've been finding. All right, player, bro. It's called You've Been Warned mp 3 Okay. I see you. Ha, ha, ha. I'm going to play that That's again. That's so messed up, dude. I'm going to play that again. Yep. Sorry, so many bugs. I see you. Ha, ha, ha. That's trip. I don't like that. I know. And what's creepy is the dude like sent like a coordinate. Yeah. And it's like, it's it's honestly further down in these woods, but we have set our own coordinate. It should be right up there on the left. Oh, yeah? yeah. Is that what it's saying? Okay. All right, dude, so I'm just gonna get the torch light up a bit because it's a little bit too shallow. Okay. This forest is absolutely terrifying. Me and Braden have been here a couple times and it's just massive. I don't know what to expect when I come out here at all. It seems like my autofocus is just going out of whack, dude. Maybe this way a little bit. <clears throat> Do you see anything? Look. I'm like looking around. I'm not seeing anything now. Look right here. What? What the hell is that? What is that? Like a helmet? 
It looks like something made of brass, eh, Brayden? Yeah. That's so creepy. Well, what's wild is that message, so that means that they're actually, that they're watching us like they always are. Yeah, that was it, dude. That was our location. This place honestly gives me the absolute creeps. We found um, previous episodes. We found ritual stuff here. Found candles lit, like a, a pile of different things I can't even get into. Well, we have the reason we're here, man. Someone texted me. I know. Like that is Got eerie. My number and texted me. Aren't that you glad you came with me though? You didn't come out in these woods all by yourself. Oh yeah. Like that was too much. Anyways, we've decided to come out here and start playing Randonautica. So we're gonna set more points. It only led us to here. I'm not seeing anyone. Hopefully not hearing anybody, like, I don't know, man. I really don't know what to expect. Like, this forest is just creepy as shit. I thought I heard sounds out this way, but I don't know. When I was coming in. I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, guys, I think what we're going to do is we're going to set, we're going to set our own point with Randonautica and just see what's going on. Um, I did bring help today. I know last episode everybody's like, why didn't you go with Brayden? Why didn't you go with him? And they're freaking out. Um, I don't know, man. I just like, I, like I said, like I want to make this full time. I want to be out doing this a lot more. But anyways, we're going to set a new point and we're going to get right back to you. Okay, guys? Okay. All right, guys. So we got this really, really creepy message on Brayden's phone by like a dummy number on WhatsApp. That's what's really creepy about WhatsApp. It's encrypted, eh? So you don't know who did it. I don't know if that's WhatsApp, because I don't know if you can just totally block your number out on WhatsApp. Well, I mean, it was sent to yours, right? Like, it was sent through to my number. Yeah. I don't know if you can just censor your number through WhatsApp. I've never seen that before. That is like, creepy. Can you censor your WhatsApp number? Or is I this guy don't. Like literally texting me from an encrypted location phone, something like that. Well, like a, well I mean, they don't have pay phones anymore. I know that, right? Well, you wouldn't be able to text me from a pay phone. Yeah. But anyways, guys, we decided to use the intent of I see you, which is Brayden's message. Like, that's the that's the message that he got on his device. So, being watched, dude. And like, I know I we're being, confirmed. bro, we're always being watched. I guess that's confirmed. Yeah, we're always I being know. watched. Like, that's just a thing now. But like, Look I at really the moon. Like I'm being watched. You can kind of see the moon, like, poking its, like, yeah. ugly head out through the trees and stuff like that. Really, really creepy. Really creepy forest. Should we press on? Yeah, I and I, I know our point is off to the right-hand side, so... Yeah, we'll just go check that out. I was blind myself with this light. I'm actually glad I don't have any of Angelo's lights because they're actually so bright they can make you go blind. <laughs> with mine, they're you know they're bright. You know they're bright, but you know... Is that I don't know, dude. Look at this. Yo, it is. Can you see the spider though? It looks like that spider was on crack, dude. That freaking web no, is all out of whack. It's been wrecked by the weather. It's been abandoned. Oh, okay. So he just kind of took off. It's an abandoned web. These woods are really creepy though. We've had a lot of things happen here, Braden and I. Um, going back into the, like, the whole cult, cult thing with Starseed, we don't really know a whole thing about them because they must be like a new newer cult we've looked up many different cults from different countries and things like that a star seed must be like some modern age thing or maybe something that's only been a movement for like a few years because there isn't really anything on it other than they're people that think they uh were born from like aliens basically aliens came like birth kids or whatever and then they're hybrids so these star seeds they think that they're hybrids they think that they're part alien part human they're telepathic and they live they literally live out in these woods i don't know if they dislike just humanity i i, I don't know because when we come here, they just seem to not like us. Dude, dude, dude are you attract. seeing this right now? What is this? It's, it's attracted it's, to light. It's going around my camera. Like, is it a moth? It's a moth. It's attracted to light. Oh, thank God. Light. I'm like thinking, is this like some poisonous bug that's like, it's massive. No, he's on your camera. Right now? Yeah, he's just chilling. Let's bring him up. Okay, well, he can come with. <laughs> Brayden, and I, Brayden and I kick off really, really well with this because we both love nature. We oh, both I love animals. We love nature. We love nature. We really love it. So that's that's always been a big thing with the two of us. So, so I love service. 
Okay. Well, you said your point is up this way, though. It's up this way. But okay. Like, I don't know where. That's a big thing without being where we are is we lose service, we get it back in parts because there's actually parts that are closer to roads. Not close, close, but at least close enough where you can probably manage signal. And that's the only reason why we've been able to make Randonautica work in this particular forest because it's so big. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I'm not really seeing anything. I'm hoping that it's something that's on trail, not off, you know what I mean? Oh, you okay, dude? June bug. June bug? June bug. Oh, man. Bro. Yo, what is that? Do you see that right now? There's something down there, dude. Okay, let's, let's slowly go. Yeah, through. I know what you mean, dude. You don't want to run into anyone. <laughs> Just be very, very careful, dude. It's another blinking light, or it could be a flashlight by the looks of things. Yeah, like, I don't know, man. It's really, really buggy in here, too, guys, that we you know, noticed. Oh, what the hell is this, dude? It's like some people's card. things. In the shoe? Yeah. Wait. Let's see. What the hell is this? There's no 7 on it or anything. No 7, no 8, no 10. I've been finding cards, bro, like your tarot cards, recently. Quite often, but this is new. I've never seen a card like this. It's this double sided. Is, this is like a bicycle card, but like. Does it mean anything? It's just. I don't know. It's. Usually they have like numbers and patterns on them. Numbers and. So numbers. it's like a deck of cards, but that's in the deck? Yeah, but like this must have been in the deck. I don't know. I, oh. I've never seen a card double sided like this. Oh, that's creepy, dude. Like there's a. We just, so we just found a flashlight. It looks like there's like just a hot. It's just chilling, and then somebody's shoe. I'm gonna keep this card. I know. I'm just thinking that we should try to find like an area of the woods where we can probably get like a little bit of reception so that we can uh, put another point in, eh? Mm -hmm. Like that's all I'm thinking right now. I, I did just like, I keep hearing sounds in this woods, like almost like somebody's like footsteps or something. I don't know. <clears throat> Hearing footsteps, Brad, we're probably surrounded. I really hope we're not surrounded, dude. We can't afford like the risks that we've took before just well, because of how dangerous this is. Because I got a text from a random number, yeah. But like, also, last time we were here, we were hunted pretty hard. We were, I mean, I was I was injured. I actually put my injured injuries on Instagram, but neither one of us got stabbed or maimed or beaten or anything like that, which is really, really good. Did you know. hear something? I keep thinking that I'm hearing like a sound like I don't know if it's an animal or what it is. So if you guys hear any sound, um, be sure to let us know in the comment section below because we keep thinking that we're hearing sounds around this particular area, but I don't know. But anyways, guys, I think what we're going to do is we're going to saddle up. We're going to try to find on part. We've, we've become a little bit more familiar. Me and Braden came during the day to kind of get a little um, familiar with these woods. So we're gonna try to dip off one of the exits to see if we can get some reception, run a point, and even if we can't follow it completely through, at least we can get close enough to where we know where the radius is. Mm -hmm. so, so that's what we're gonna do and we're gonna take a little break. All right, guys. All righty, guys, so we set another point. We're going forward. Onwards and backwards. Onwards and backwards, my G. It's up this way. So we're gonna have to dip left a bit later, but hopefully y'all can see stuff because I know my camera's been a little wonky today. Yeah, yeah. Oh, is it dimming? No, it's pretty bright, but like if it's not bright enough. Oh, like, there we go. We're good. We're good. Yeah. It's the autofocus. It's got like this tracer thing. It just drives me insane. Oh, dude. Are you hearing that? That's an owl. That's so weird. An owl fighting a dog. 
That's what it sounded like. No, that's literally what's happening right now. There's a small dog fighting an owl right now. Like a coyote? Do you think no, that would be like a predator? that was a small dog. Oh, okay, okay. That was a small dog yipping. Yeah, that's eerie, eh? Well, anyways, let's go. <laughs> it's giving me the creeps. <laughs> Whatever it is. That owl is trying to eat someone's pet, dude. Yeah. That's no I know owls are pretty predatory. Well, they call them raptor birds, eh? They are raptor birds. Yeah. It's like them, hawks, eagles. Fudge. Yeah, raptors. I like eagles. I think they're pretty cool. They're a raptor species of bird. Yeah. This guy, this guy won, dude. By the sounds of things, dude. Yeah, he just killed someone's small pet. That's not cool. <laughs> I think that's not cool. <laughs> no, I would say no. They're, that's wild nature for you. Yeah, yeah, so it says that it's like kind of off this way. I hope that we don't have to go in the middle of the woods because I know some points we've have been, been off trail. Mostly. Yeah, we've, we've been getting lucky. We've really been getting lucky. Like we usually have something that's nearby trail even if it is off trail. Yeah, but like look so, at this. We're on the border of the trail. Yeah. There's an owl fighting someone's dog in the distance. I know, that's odd. I've never that's heard anything like that. crazy. They that do was, that. They do that? They do that a lot. They'll take small animals. Oh like, no. They'll take them on no problem. That was a that was a Well, owl. I'm hopefully little Bow Wow or whatever his name is, okay. <laughs> well, that was a, little Chow. <laughs> that was a barn owl and what sounded like a chihuahua. Yeah. So like and barn owls typically take on barn cats. Yeah. So like That's crazy, dude. That's yeah. nature. So We've had a lot of nature uh the you know the subs got to see like this this crazy raccoon last episode so it was wild falling out of the tree. <clears throat> yeah oh yeah it's it wild oh uh, no it's actually down this point down this dude point? dude did you hear that what 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 do you see something Hello? Say something. Anything. What the hell is that? Dude. He just like set something down exactly roughly where the point is. I'm not even joking. Camp. That was really, really weird. I know, bro. I don't even see it. Oh, wait, he was up here. Yo, what the hell is that? Hold on. You have arrived. This is a sarcophagus. Which means. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna ignore this for now. Actually, There's you know a blade what? there? What is that? That's a sacrificial blade. But it's not it's not an old one. Like look, 440 stainless steel. So this is a pretty new sacrificial blade. But it is Oh my gosh, the bugs dude. Well what's what's creepy is it that is that rusted. dude was like giggling and he just set it down, dude. But it, it this thing's rusted like it's been used. Like, it's dirty. I just feel really, like, creeped out you touching that, bro. Because, like, yeah, what if somebody both, used dude. it for something? This is a note. At least we have it on record that we found it. What's this? R. Okay. It's a note from R. Another note from R. Okay. What is My this? brother was unpredictable. He had no business sticking his nose where it didn't belong. He had to be dealt with, and I had been, I have been, chosen. Is there anything on the back? No. That is so messed up. But it's signed R. So we just found this knife here, guys, which looks like an Egyptian thing. Like, that's like King Tut, right? It's a pharaoh for sure. Yeah, so we just found that. And this dude was actually chilling here. He was chilling here the whole time. He came out of nowhere and he just started laughing. Like he just started giggling. Like I thought he was holding a baby. I literally thought he was holding a baby or something. Like that was really, really messed up, bro. I feel really bad about touching this knife. 
Well, I mean, we documented that some other person had it. Yeah, it's not ours. There so we obviously they had it before you. But who was that? I just hope that it's not a cult member or something because like we said, they, they live out in these woods. And you got to keep in mind, somebody wanted you to come here. Like you got that message and we got it brought us here. Then what's with the sacrificial blade? <laughs> well, obviously somebody... Well, bro, what about Rachel? Her brother was Toby. What and this if, note was this note was talking about what if we're too unpredictable now? I don't know, man. Like that is just messed up. What is moth? Sorry, I got distracted. Like what if that bro? I really wish you didn't touch that now. Cause no. what if that was the knife that was used in the slaying of Toby? Sacrifice. That is messed up, bro. Well, at least no, we I have it. Really bad about touching that. Well, at least we have it documented that we weren't holding it because that guy was. It wasn't our. You could thing. see that dude. Like, Pretty I don't sure. know. My camera, my camera was blurring, but I was kind of able to focus on him, and then he kind of dipped off this way. But my autofocus was kind of like I don't know. It was kind of like paranormal. It was really, really bizarre. That was almost like brainwashed. Yeah, that was eerie. Or like lobotomized, almost in a sense. I honestly want to follow this guy and I want to get down I want to get down to the brass tacks like I I'm I'm down to fight tonight I don't really care. I want to I want to figure out what the hell is going on and who the f are these people. I don't want to confront one because we just keep like they keep messing with us, man. Like look at this thing. And the thing looks ancient. It's really really wild. Do you recognize this character? Anubis. And is that a god? That would be the god of either death or the underworld. I can't remember. I think Both sound equally terrifying. I think Osiris is the god equally of the terrifying, Brayden? I think Anubis is the god of Yeah, because Anubis is the one that brings you to judgment. Okay. So he's the god of death. That's and then so Osiris scary. Is the god of the underworld, the king of the underworld, basically. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I think we're going to go forward and just find this guy, man. Because, like, I, I just, I want to get down to this. Wait. I honestly want to figure out what's going Cody on. Cody sacrifice, like, not Cody, Toby. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. It's so hot, guys. Mm -hmm. My brain is slipping. I'm under a lot of stress. Well, it sounded like Toby. Blade. Like, I mean, that's a, that did say R. So if Toby was sacrificed by his sister... Yeah, but in the name of... But I don't know. Like, it like... just says R. Like, that's the thing. When we had notes by Rachel, they actually said Rachel. Yeah, but what if... Full name. They didn't, they didn't say R. So but this could if... be a completely new person altogether. It could be, but it also could be Rachel morphing into something else. Oh, it could be. You like, maybe, I mean? maybe, like she, maybe, maybe she calls she herself broke. something else now. Maybe she, or maybe she's going by code because she mm -hmm. finally snapped and like. A lot of people say that the cult disbanded, that a lot, that the cult broke up and all the members went like AWOL. Yeah, so that's not true. I know. It, I mean, it's it's really all speculation, bro. But I say that we go down there and I want to follow this dude. Like, I want to get on this. Like, I don't want to sit here and chill and, and get see. jumped again. I honestly want to follow this guy. We're gonna find this guy, dude. He's out here. He can't be that far up ahead. I know we were talking for a little while, but... Yeah, but he can't be too far, right? Yeah. Just be on the look out for anything, Brayden, in case... Do you he, see him? He's right up there. Hey! Okay, so he's up here. I can't really get a good eye. I can't see him. Like there's something, so somebody up there? Yeah, there's a flashlight swinging around up there. Okay. Hey! Be careful, Braden. Like, we don't know who this guy is. Oh, That's the thing. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I know. Be careful. Can you hear me? Like, are you deaf? You got no place else to hide! Where'd go? Where'd Show go? yourself, bud! What's the deal with this stuff you just left? These little gifts you're leaving behind for us, huh? Dude, I think he's just ignoring us. Yeah, they're pissing me off. I'm fucking sick of it. 
I know. Hey. What's the fuck? What's the fuck? Hey. Oh, Brady! 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 Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Dude, what the just happened? Are you kidding me? I can't believe it just got that fucking on film. Oh my god, Brayden. You scared the shit out of me. Dude. He dropped his knife. It's my knife now. It's like a fucking switchblade, bro. It's loose. Get back here! Come on, bro, he's got no knife. Get back here, you fucker! You think it's fun, my friends? Come on, we know you're out here. You got no place to hide. Not this time, man. We brought back up. I don't know, dude. You seen him? Here's your knife. Coward. Yeah, I'm not seeing him, dude. I mean, these are big woods. Like, he could be anywhere. I don't know, bro. I definitely don't want to be here all night. No. That was a little much for me. We should probably go back, dude. Yeah, let's back. Well, you win this time. You win this time, asshole. Well, I wouldn't say win. Well, we got away. <laughs> yeah, I know you, man, bro. Fuck. I'm glad that I have this kid on my side, man. Holy smokes, bro! That could have been that could have been me. That could have been anyone that got stabbed. You're nice, right Holy here. Holy shit, dude! No, I wouldn't leave that, bro. Oh no! Get oh it. yeah, we're not leaving that, you dude. Take it. I would leave it for him. I'm not leaving this guy a knife. Are you I'm kidding not, me? I'm not gonna <laughs> take his weapons, but I am gonna use them. <sighs> like that was crazy. That was so dangerous, dude. Yeah, we'll take the knife. Yeah. Taking your knife with us, there, prick. Okay, let's go back, bro. Let's get out of here. Yeah, don't ever leave something like that for somebody like that, man. Like, that guy tried to stab you with that. Well, that's just my aggressive side. Coming. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know you're good with that weapons. That's you just these are, these are your weapons, your fists, eh? That's my come at me again. Yeah, so, yeah, no, for mean, sure, like, dude. Holy smokes, bro, that scared me. Like, I could see him. I could see, like, a silhouette of a person with the camera. Yeah. But I couldn't, like, make well, out him fully. That's all in the dark, right? And then, yeah. Like, and then all of a sudden there's this glare of a knife. Yeah, that was just too I'm much. Like, nope. That's a wild-looking knife, too, man. And keep in it's mind, nice we one. keep seeing a bunch of them with switchblades. Yeah, that's a nice one. And that is wild. It'd be a shame to get stabbed by that one. Yeah, I know, bro. It's too pretty, though. So I think what sorry, we're gonna do guys we're gonna sit just head back to the car um, Sorry, like I mean, yeah, it just seems like we don't have a lot of content in this one, but we've got pretty wild action going on like Raiden took on that guy Whoever he was he did look like a cult member, bro. He did look well, like a cult mask. member He had the mask on and everything pulled a knife on I what know, was I supposed to do, you know that was crazy like, I can run or I can take him down like he he was he was up to no good but all I know is we just want to get back to the car tonight. Yeah, we want to. Obviously, this guy wanted to stand off with you, dude, because I mean, he might have been the guy that left that thing on your phone. Well, he signed off for the wrong standoff. I know, bro. Wait, seven. I'm Wait, glad seven? that I came with you because some people, like, honestly, some people, even if, like, when you're by yourself, you're more afraid. So you could have made a mistake there, like, not having another person with you. Like, we've got lights, we've got everything, and you got, you just took that guy down, man. Yeah, but, like, if I have you with me, then at least if he gets on top of me... Then I can, can get, get him. Exactly. Him. We have backup, yeah. so... If I was alone, I would have run. Exactly. I run, but I, as long as, like, I know you can jump in. Mm -hmm. and I know he's that was just person. crazy. But, yeah, I say that we just head back towards the uh, the car. We just want to get out of here, okay, guys? So... All right. How much further do you think it is, dude? Well, don't Cause, know. Because you were telling me that you uh, 
you kind of know a little bit of the gist of these these woods now. Yeah, I've been marking landmarks and stuff. That's good. Like on our adventures in here, right? Mm -hmm. But we should be near the exit. Look at the moon. I know. You can see the moon like through the trees and stuff like that. Isn't that so creepy? Cool. So cool. Really so cool, like bro. We heard like owls. I know. I don't think I've ever heard owls that close before. Dude, we just got attacked by a cult member. That was crazy, bro. Honestly, I still have his fucking knife. Okay. Let's be very careful. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I know we will. It's like we're we're in cult territory, and they are not letting up. No. This guy, I think. Yeah, there's a river. Yeah, I got his little knife here that he left. Here's the river here, so we're at the edge, here, buddy. Oh, thank God, dude. Okay, I'm gonna put this away so I don't stab myself. That's one thing, you don't walk with knives. It can be really, really dangerous. It's like running with scissors. Oh god, yeah, dude. That's how we know that we're always out of these woods is when we find the river. Yeah. Like this little stream. But it's really, really buggy and we've been getting eaten alive. Dude, I actually feel good. I feel good, bro, that we... That we took that guy on, yeah, yeah, like, they, like I mean, obviously I didn't jump in, like, you're, you're the big tough guy, but Frig, man, that was awesome. That was you actually took out, like, one of the members of Starseed. Yeah, so it says it's up here, so. Okay. 31, uh, this is definitely the exit. Okay, exit? Yo, do you see that right there? Oh my god, bro, it's another... It looks like another weapons cache, Brayden. Are oh, you freaking kidding me? What is this? 600 cartridges, 5.56 millimeter. Oh my god, Brayden. Should we open it? I don't, I don't know what's in it, man. I don't want to know, kind of. It's already open. Okay. Someone was in a rush. Let's see. What's in it? What's in it? We got... Bullets and throwing Oh them. my god. I can't believe this. Dude. Don't touch it, Brayden. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Like, we don't know if these have actually been used for, like, serious, serious crimes. Like, those two rounds have been used. I can't believe we just found this, dude. That is so intense. That's what do we do. Like, have you... Yo, did you hear that? From behind us? Shh. I thought I heard footsteps. <sighs> yeah, this is just getting to be really, really intense. I just can't believe that we found this. Ew, dude. Somebody. Where did this knife go? What if our guy's been into this thing? And he's like, you know what I mean? Dude, like, what are we doing waiting around? He grabbed another weapon. Like, look. Yeah, dude, he he grabbed another knife, dude. This is, let's just close this. Yeah, I say we just get the hell out of here. Let's, just get, let's get out of here, okay? I just don't want to stay in here anymore, Brayden. This is getting... <laughs> oh my God! Brayden, 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 go, go, go! Brayden. 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 I can't see. Oh my god. Did you see that guy? Okay, let's go. Let's go. Come on, come on. Don't stop, Brayden. Don't stop. Oh my god. These people are f***ing safe, Brayden. They're f***ing safe. Oh my god, I almost fall. Yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh my god. 
Oh no. Like the knife. Let's fuck it. I don't know if he's still coming, dude. I don't know if he's still coming. That's the thing. I can break. Break. Son of a bitch, Brandon. That son of a bitch. Is he coming or what? Oh man, that laugh terrified me. That laugh terrified me. That was chilly. I got my knife now. I didn't have time to grab it. I'm sorry. I know I'm the only one with a weapon. I'm sorry, I didn't have time to grab it. That guy scared the shit out of me, dude. He scared the shit out of me. Get away. Okay, all right, let's go. I can't believe this. I can't believe this stuff that we keep getting. Like, this cult, Brayden, they're crazy. They're absolutely insane. They're crazy and they're starting to piss me off. I know. Like, all I'm trying to do is go on some sick little adventures. Brayden, that guy wanted to finish us off. Like, he... This must have circled around. We were done, dude. We he were must done. have circled around and came back <coughs> to come get us, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. We're not getting away from this anytime soon. No, no. no. Do you think that that coordinate was like, like he wanted to kill you? Like that? That's why he led you here? I think this is personal. I think he's trying to split us up. Because you got that personally. Yeah. He probably didn't know you were gonna tell me. No, but this is personal for me now. Uh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, <sighs> you can't just come at me. Have you gotten anything else? Like, have you gotten anything else in the mail or anything? No, just that text message today. Yeah. And I was like, <sighs> what is this? Who is this? This is just unreal, bro. And if that was this person, then I want, like, I, I want my hands on them. I know. Oh, <laughs> bro, you did good, though. Oh, should we head back? Yeah. Let's head out of here. Yeah, next time, asshole. Next time. I'll get you. <sighs> I will get you. <sighs> <sighs>